Net surfing has taken beachgoers by storm and it's not a surprise as the sport brings out the fun in summer. Pat Fernandez takes us to La Union as she rides waves on the famous waters of San Juan. Summer is incomplete without hitting the beach, so today we'll try surfing. And where else would it be perfect to surf but in La Union? The town of San Juan especially stands out because aside from having the fifth longest coastline in the world, its waters are also known as the surf turf for beginners and experts alike. There are lots of surfing schools in San Juan, so don't let the moment pass by if you're in the area. I try the water sport myself. And since I'm fairly new to surfing, my instructor advised me to use a soft top surfboard, which is much safer for beginners. He also asked me to wear a rash guard, a standard when surfing for the protection of the abdomen and chest. Before hitting the waters, it is of course important to know the basics of the board and the sport itself. There's the deck, or the part which you have to stand on. The rails, so you have something to hold on to when you're getting ready. The fins, located at the bottom of the board and in charge of helping you move forward. The nose, the tail, and the leash or leg rope, which will keep you attached to the board. It's also important to know the two types of stances. The regular stance where you have to face your right side and the goofy stance where you have to face to the left. Your ideal stance will be based on your dominant leg or the one you'll be putting forward. Next up is learning how to stand on the surfboard. To the front and to the back. Yes. Ideally, stretch, point your toes by merely touching this one. As you can see, my center of mass is nearly at the middle of the board. Okay, be there always. And then imagine there's an imaginary line here. From head to foot, you should be in the middle so as not to tilt the board from left to right. The command will be hold on, hold on to like this. And remember always facing, chin up facing the shore as if there's always camera in front. And smile, okay? Because if you work too much, you will look at the water running, mahihilo ka, or sometimes you get worried about falling. That's why maraming oras na aksaya pag nakaganun ka. So all you have to do is pop up quickly, stand up, tapos balance. Apparently, there are three ways to stand. The step up, which is recommended for beginners, the slide up, and the pop up, which is mostly done by experts. And now, I'm ready to hit the waves. Surfing can be tougher than it looks because you have to keep your balance while moving along the waves. But when you're in the water, always be attentive to your surroundings, especially when you get washed out by waves. When falling, jump to your left or right side. Never forward so that the board won't hit you. When you get dumped underwater, always raise your hand to be able to feel your surfboard's position as well as let other people know that you're in the area. Also, avoid rubbing water out of your eyes. Instead, gently press on your eyelids once before looking both ways at the horizon and the shore. And once you catch a wave, make sure to get off the board before hitting the shore so you wouldn't be thrown forward. Beat the heat with surfing this season. However, you have to keep in mind that patience is a must. This is Pat Fernandez for Solar News.